Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Lauren and today's video is all about cleaning and organising my understairs cupboard. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and if you want to subscribe, please remember to ring the notification bell so you don't miss any more future videos from me. Let's take a look at what I've done. Today I am organising my understairs cupboard. Uh, it's very messy from when we did the building work, so there's a lot of tools in there and things we don't need or we need to store somewhere else. Uh, I'll be using these shelves behind me to make it organised and uh, we'll take a look at what it looks like now so we can see the progression of it. And I've got my scrubs on ready for uh, cleaning up. everything from the cupboard now so it's all empty I'm going to use this spare bit of plasterboard to cover up that hole there with the bricks in and then paint that white on the floor I'm just going to lay some cardboard and then I've got a spare piece of carpet upstairs which I'm hoping will fit in the bottom to make it um, a bit cleaner and then I'll dust off the walls and hopefully they'll, they'll take paint well. And then I'll paint this. This is the uh, where the old door used to be. So I'll just paint that for now. We're not blocking that up at the moment. And um, I didn't do that because it's bare brick, so it's just to basically take off the, the dirty yellow. Um, yeah, so I won't be doing any more paint, it's just to freshen it up. And don't, don't judge my uh, painting skills by this, because I was just slapping it on, because it's not even going to be seen. <laughs> right, so that's me done for today. Um, I will put in the shelves tomorrow and organise it all got so much stuff to put in there so I can't wait to get it all sorted out. Hey, so I'm back today, uh, still working on my cupboard. Um, I'm putting the shelves in today and organising all my things. Also, I had a thought last night, um, because I haven't painted this side of the door, I think I want to have a bit of play and I've got some leftover pink paint from when I did my bath so this one and it's like a nice dusky pink so I think if I had it on here and when you open the cupboard it's a bit more playful and you know inviting rather than just a bog standard cupboard so yes I'm going to do that first before I put the shelves in and we'll get on with that
large knot like this, you would probably want to uh, paint over it with some, you can get like a knot sealant. Um, I'm gonna skip that step because it's the inside of the door, it's not gonna be seen a lot, but if it was on the outside, that's what you'd need to do, otherwise it seeps through the paint and you'll get like a yellow circle where the knot is. a new door I painted it in white undercoat first because this roof is a good base for whatever paint finish you're going for. In my case it is not conventionally a paint for wood but it has got a mid sheen so it doesn't look out of place on woodwork. So if you haven't painted a door before the first thing to do is the beading around the edge then you go onto the panels then it would be the central vertical pieces and then all of the horizontal pieces and then finally the two long sides and edges as you will see me do. I masked the side with tape as I needed the front edge to be neat and so I didn't want the paint to be shown on the outside. another coat of pink on the door last night so this is looking nice and finished now and also inside I actually decided to paint the bricks at the top and the top part of the shelf um, because it just looked um, dirty compared to the rest of it so I used a sponge for this because a lot of the um, like the mortar in, in between the bricks was very crumbly so I was hoping that the sponge would like help it stay in place so I've just done like two coats on there because it was quite dark. My next job is to put these hooks on on the door. Uh, these were left over from my hallway when we took the old coat rack off so I've got four of these so I'm just going to repurpose them onto this door because obviously it needs to have as much storage as possible. When measuring for the hooks, I wanted them to be in the middle and I wanted them in, in line with each other. So they needed to be 
at the top and the middle of the vertical central piece and then on the crossbar they wanted to be the same distance in in the middle of the panel um, so each side so that they would look even. that I don't have a door handle yet. That's because my dad has not been able to come over during lockdown and install any. I can still easily use this door though and it's not on the top of my priority list. So that's the project finished. I'm so happy that I now have a clean and tidy place for all those things you don't use that often but still need. So in there I've got crafting materials, decoration tools and Christmas decks as I can't easily access my loft for the time being. I really enjoyed doing this project as now I have a very useful storage space and it's kept me occupied in yet another week of lockdown. I hope this has inspired you to organise something in your home and make it a little bit more of a joy to tidy up. As I know when I have a place for everything, it's a lot easier to keep things tidy. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!